The world uh, can sometimes be a dangerous place. In the, and in the short time we have been in office, our administration has had its share of crises. We have seen a hostage crisis, a bus bombing, floods in Sulu and other parts of the country. And we will face more before our time is up. This is the re reality we face. Our people are exposed to different kinds of threats say, to their lives and safety. As our government, it is indeed our responsibility to respond in the most effective way. This is why the Presidential Situation Room was created through my Administrative Order No. 2 last September. While we are only inaugurating it today, it has been in operation since October, and its dedicated staff has served me well. The PSR has produced a total of 100 reports in 2010 alone, each one I read completely and thoroughly. These reports, concise, accurate, and insightful, have kept me up to date on important events and have given the Cabinet relevant information that it needs to respond to the different challenges that our country has experienced. Soon, the Presidential Situation Room will be equipped with centralized electronic connections to all key national security agencies, primarily the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Philippine National Police, the Office of Civil Defense, and the Department of National Defense. In times of national crisis, the PSR will be the nerve center of the government's response, centralizing information flow and assisting in the coordination of the different agencies tasked to deal with the crisis. But more than just two, the PSR is also a reminder of how much more effective we can be if we acknowledge the value of cooperation and unity. It is through enhanced cooperation that we can better serve our people at times when they need us most. I have no doubt that in the years to come, this place and the people who work in it every day will be tested. I also have no doubt that as we deal with the threats to our country's security, this place and the people working here will indeed deliver each and every time. I thank you all for the work you have already done and for the work that still lies ahead. Our people are counting on us, and with your help, we will rise to whatever challenges lay ahead. Thank you, each and everyone. Good day.